little sprawled out, the league looking dude? What's going on? We're playing basketball, but I'm not tall enough. Not tall enough? You're underwater. What it really takes is some smooth moves. I don't have any smooth moves. Sure you do. Everybody's got some funk in them. Well, except for my boss. Maybe sea cows. Can you show me some moves? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you some serious moves. Back it up now. Give me some room. Busted. Now, in health and lifestyle, dancing can be a fun and therapeutic way to stay in shape, but requires significant amounts of coordination in addition to blasting that booyah flavor G-Funk while jamming straight up old school. You see those colorful bubbles rising up the screen? When they hit the three buttons at the top, push the matching arrow keys to pop the bubbles. The more you pop, the cooler you are, and vice versa. Pop all the bubbles of the same color and your dancing will improve. But don't make a mistake or you'll start looking silly. And that can be scarring. The bar at the top of the screen is your cool meter. When you pop a bunch of bubbles in a row, people will think you're cool and the cool meter will increase. Try getting your meter as full as you can by the end of the song and be the envy of bored family members and gullible peers. Now get out there and have a good time. That's what I'm talking about. Ha <laughs> ha! Who's with me? Yeah! Yeah! Right, yeah! yeah! Woo adopt me! Adopt me! Hey, hey, don't get all mushy on me now. Keep practicing. I'll catch y'all later. And tell all your mamas I said hi. Especially yours, Tyrone. Alright, bro. Yeah, we'll Goodbye. see you. Okay, Goodbye, bro.
well if it isn't the coolest boss ever. Not now, Oscar. I got way too much on my mind. I gotta skip town for a while, but a lot of fish here owe me some serious money. I can't just leave it lying around. All right, try this on. I go get your money for you, and then we talk. You think that I'm gonna trust you with thousands and thousands of clams? Um, yes. All right, you talk me into it. But only if you help me first. You better bring me at least 50 bags before time runs out or you're finished. Got it? Fish sticks! Hey, it's me. What could happen? Okay, I gotta grab enough money bags before time runs out or Sykes is gonna kill me. Money. Woo! Ah, well, this looks like all of it. <laughs> what? Did I tell you? It's me. You're all right, Oscar. So tell me about this seahorse. Lucky day, is it? And in sporting and comical injury news, the pride of Davy Jones's ranch, Seahorse Lucky Day, tripped and spilled to the turf in the home stretch of the Reef City Derby, squandering a seven-length lead in the process. Track officials are confident no foul play was involved. Circuit spokesman Brillo McGillicuddy was quoted as saying, It's no big deal. Fish trip all the time. On a lighter note, in the aftermath of the race, a number of unlucky bettors seemed noticeably upset. Oscar, you moron! I'm gonna make you wish you were never hatched, you pathetic algae-sucking bottom feeder! Some less savory elements in the crowd even grew unruly as one poor loser was pummeled senseless by a pair of surly jellyfish and reportedly later dragged out to the wastelands outside of Reef City. Track officials remain confident no foul play was involved. He had it coming. Come on, guys! I'm good for the money! You can tell Sykes I'll get it! Soon! He'll believe anything. Just between us, he's not that bright. Oh, it's too late for that, me boy! You and us is going to party! All right, if that's how you want it, we'll do this the hard way. Oh, yeah. I call this my shrieking wombat style. You don't want to see my ball-peen tornado. It scares me just thinking about it. Good choice, boys. I didn't want to hurt you any more than you wanted to be hurt. I'm a lover, not a hurter. I don't know if I'm cut out for this, Frankie, but I don't like eating fish. What's it gonna take to make a shark out of you? We eat fish, that's what we do. Bada bing. Hey, 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 what's that? Hey, guys, now that we've established who's boss, I could use a little help with the untying and all. Look. It's like a TV dinner. You think you can handle that, Lenny? Make Dad proud for once? Sure, Frankie. Uh, whatever you say. Okay, I'll get back to the reef, pick up my paycheck. Wait, 
I got no job, no apartment, and I'm tied to a rock in the middle of the desert. Now all I need is a shark! No, no, wait, wait, don't panic. I'm not gonna eat you. Fine, I'll eat him. And, and he keeps on coming. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Yeah. Hits his head and he keeps on coming. Stupid fish. I ain't gonna hurt you. Forget about it. It'll be totally painless. Frankie! Frankie! <laughs> Say something, Frankie! Honey, you are such a moron. <sighs> now I've done it. Pop's gonna kill me. Yeah, that's right. Try to eat me. Didn't know who you were messing with, did you? Well, I showed you. Nobody eats me without permission. Not gonna make that mistake twice. Cause I'm like, wham, pow, boom. And he's like, no, not the katho. So I'm all, how about a little on the butt Ha ha! Give it up for the shock slayer. Woo! Current here with the latest in unavoidable exposition. A local fish named Oscar has just defeated a shark, and that's right, a great white shark, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oscar, the fish of the city have begun calling you the Shark Slayer. How does that make you feel? Well, Katie, I slay sharks. That's my job. I mean, what else would they call me? Were you scared? Scared? <laughs> that's a good one, Katie. The shark didn't even know what hit him. I was like, you want to eat me? Come here, big guy. I got a snack for you. You're so eloquent. Now, about this shark you slew, aren't you concerned that his father Lino and his army of fearsome enforcers might seek revenge? His father? Lino? The Lino? The, uh, most powerful shark in Reef City. You know what? <laughs> I think I smell a shark around here somewhere. Gotta go kick him a few times. I'll see you later. You heard it here first, folks. Oscar the Shark Slayer is going to confront Lino and his goons head on. That was Lino's son? Now every shark in the ocean's gonna be after me. I gotta find a place to lay low for a bit. Huh. I seem to remember there's an abandoned kelp bed around here somewhere. That sounds like just what the doctor ordered. Behind those gates, maybe. Let me see, if I pull that switch...
gates are on a timer? And why can't sneaking into places be easy anymore? Well, I can't go back now. I keep moving. In stealth-based gameplay news, this tuft of kelp is a safe zone. If you hide inside, no one can see you. Okay, this kelp bed is nice and dark. No shark is gonna find me here. Except maybe that one. Ah! Please don't eat me! Okay, stop it, would ya? I I'm a vegetarian. Oh, whoa, I know you. You're the shark I met in the wasteland. You tried to eat me. I was trying to save you. 
Look, I'm not big and tough like the other sharks. Nobody likes me, and now I got Frankie killed. Everybody I know thinks I killed your brother. Now they expect me to fight every other shark in the ocean. I just wish I knew how to slay a shark. Yeah, well, I just wish I could disappear. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, here's the plan. We'll stage a big fake fight in the middle of town, you make yourself look real scary and then take a dive. Everybody will think you're dead, and I'm a hero! I don't know, Oscar. You might be a little famous, but I don't think you're famous enough to pull off a stunt like that. Not famous enough? Exactly how famous do I need to be? You need to make some more friends. Advertise yourself. You know, once you got some more fame, then come back here and we'll fight. Yeah, all right, I get it. Just stay here so nobody sees you. Thank <laughs> you.